Friends, I trust you are safe and healthy. You are staying at home and strictly observing the social distancing guidelines that the government has issued, both here in the United States and also in India. We are going through some difficult times, trying and testing times, but we know the solution is in our hands. We know that we can beat the virus by staying at home and not spreading it when we step out. I am so happy that many community organizations and Indian community leaders have approached us, are collaborating with us and making a lot of effort in ensuring that people are inconvenienced the least. I want to applaud the efforts of SEVA. Uh, they are helping the consulate in a big way. I just uh, came across a case where there were 14 Indian tourists stranded in, in, in New York and SEVA, uh, Connecticut stepped forward and they were hosting these uh, tourists in a hotel and providing them with food uh, in, in Connecticut. Similarly, in New Jersey, there was this girl uh, who tested positive and could not go back to her own flat uh, because she was uh, corona positive and uh, the hospital would not admit her uh, because her symptoms were not that grave and she was rather stranded and again we reached out to Seva and they made accommodation possible uh, for this girl. So there are many instances where uh, Seva has been helping us and what I admire about this organization is that they are making a network with other organizations in, the, in, in, in all over the United States and also in the Northeast and I have seen many uh, community organizations coming forward and making this huge network uh, with with seva and and they have come across uh, they have come forward uh, with uh, sanyam sahakar and sahyog the three principles of the sankal pledge which will mean that even in the future when there are problems the community faces then these organizations have a network in place they have a helpline in place they have a support system in place which can help uh, the people in